A while back we did an ABC on crochet and so we thought we'd do an ABC on knitting now because people just are asking. Just the simple asking, things. Yeah, just teach you all the basics and uh, we'll get you started in knitting in no time. Yeah. You need yarn, you need needles and we will knit with two just two to make needles. it simple. If you don't know the size of the needles you have, you can always use something like this. So this is a yeah, number three. A measure. And, yeah, and, and of course, if you're in America, uh, the sizes of the needles will be different than if you are in continental Europe or even Scandinavia. Uh, in Scandinavia and in Germany, we use the millimeter size. And you need to get yarn that fits together with the correct needle. Or with the, uh, and the product you're yeah. knitting. And usually all of this information is... It's actually written on the yarn. Yeah, and also on the pattern. If you, if you get a pattern, any kind of pattern, you will have a little bit of information about what needle size, what kind of yarn they'd like you to use. Sometimes even mention the name of the brand. Mm. So. so like on the, this yarn, it says uh, 10 centimeter is 22 stitches. That means you have to measure when you're when you knit. You see, like you t take ten centimeters, and then you see how many stitches you got on, yeah. on ten centimeter. If you're a loose knitter, you need to knit with smaller needles, and if you're a really tight knitter, you might have to go up a size. Yes. So, but so all of this uh, is yeah, it, and it's all about trying and testing, and so always knit a little a little square a little something before you actually throw yourself into a huge project. And that's our advice. Mm -hmm. Then I show you on this how to start. To cast and we, on. To cast on. And we will show you the knit and the purl and knit together and increase. Increase, decrease. Decrease. That's what you need. So you can either you can start by doing this uh, loop. loop and you put the needle in the loop and then you start to cast on and you need to have a little bit of uh, thread yeah so this is like you have yeah. to have enough enough so, otherwise you'll so run one out. is like the tail and the other one comes from the ball and then you knit from the fingers like this you go you take the yarn like this your thumb and your pointing finger, then you go in this loop on the thumb and you pull the yarn from the pointing finger through that loop and you let it go, then you have a stitch. So from the thumb to the pointing finger and back and you let it go. Mm. From the thumb, pick it up from the pointing finger, go through the loop again and let it go. So basically to explain to it, how. knit is when you're knitting uh, towards you and purl is when you're going on the op opposite side. Let me show on this one. This is like the, the, the outside of, of the hat. So this is knit and then this is the purl. The inside of the hat. The inside. And then of course you can combine knit and purl. Like on the hem. To create different kinds of effects. So this is knit and purl. Okay. Two knit and two purl. So, so let's do knit. A knit stitch. Knit stitch. So when I when I knit this back and forth, I al always slip the first stitch. So I pull the yarn over to the finger. I slip this off, and then I start to knit. A knit stitch. Mm. So I go into the stitch, pick the yarn from the finger and pull it back the same way and then I take it off the needle. I go in the stitch, pick from the finger and pull it off the needle. So this is the Norwegian way. You just pick from mm. the finger, so it's quite quick. But then again, you can do it in other ways. Anyway. I mean, I'm doing it the Norwegian way now, 
but originally the way I learned it was the in another way, which is maybe more used in North America, UK, south of Europe as well, mm, that's which is this way. yeah, which is throwing. So instead of having the uh, the thread on my um, on my left hand you and picking it. it, I'm having it. I have it on my right hand and I throw like this. And people used to laugh at me and said that I was a very slow knitter. I used to answer that it's not a knitting competition. We're not here to stress when we knit. knit. It's okay to take your time. And uh, yeah, so and that's then the way. I've seen in Germany, they do it like the Norwegian way, but they do something like this, put the yarn around the finger yeah, and hold it up in the air, something like this. And then they have to catch it that's i think that's really hard that's uh, yeah because you have to have this up in the air all the time so i prefer to do it the norwegian, the norwegian way, way which is directly from the finger like this i read somewhere that in norway in the old days the farmers they were knitting like this this this, this is like the old way and then the more the wealthy people in cities, like the city people, yeah. they did it from the finger like this. That was my, more like the posh way. So which is the posh way? The Norwegian way. Oh, okay. That's good. But this is the normal way in Norway now. Everyone knits like this, or most of the people knit like this. So that was a knit. So should we do pearl? Okay. I will slip the first stitch again. So you're knitting with your... You pick from the finger, you go under the yarn, you go into the stitch from behind, you twist it back again and pick up the yarn from the finger and you go back the same way. So into the stitch, pick it up from the finger, go back the same way and then you pull it off the needle. Then you have a pearl. So under the yarn on the finger into the stitch from behind, twist it back and pull the yarn on the needle again, go back the same way and pull it off the needle. Another pearl. So under the, under the yarn on the finger, into the stitch from behind, pull it back and put the yarn on the needle again and go back the same way and put it off the needle. That's the pearl. Mm. And you go quick like this. This is the dancing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when you do you do the the hem, you can just do like two knit, two pearl like this, two pearl and two knit. Two pearl. And tune it, and you always keep the yarn on the finger. Tune it. There was one pearl left. Okay. Let's increase. I start again. This time I have a knit, so I put the yarn on the finger and I slip it off. Because when I knit back and forth like this, I want to have a nice line of stitches on the side. So you have to remember which time you have to put the yarn on the finger or if you have to put the yarn in between the two first ones. So on this side, I put it directly on the finger and I start to knit. If I want to increase now, we lift the stitch below the next on the needle, put it on the needle and we knit in that one. And then we knit the next stitch. When we decrease, sometimes if we do something very simple, like, like a Christmas ball, we knit these two together like that. Just knit, it, knit them together. But if you make a sweater with raglan, is it called raglan? Mm, yes, raglan. Raglan. 
for example, you have to be very picky about the decreasing because you don't want the stitches to go the same, same direction. If this is the front of my sweater, is this the right side? That's the right side. Right and the left side. I want the stitches to point towards the neck, like this. And that's then I will decrease on the right side this way. I will take the first stitch off, I will knit the next and then I lift the first over. Now the stitch are pointing towards the neck. But then on the other side, I just knit over to the other side and on the other side I knit these two together the simple way and then the stitch will point in that direction and that looks nicer on a sweater mm. or maybe a hat something you're wearing something bigger than the christmas ball or easter ball i think that's it that's basically it and when you do knit, if you know how to do knit and purl and bind, um, decreasing and in increasing, you can knit anything. You also, maybe, oh, there's one thing you need to know. When you make a stitch, mm -hmm. that's, it's another way to make a stitch. That's when you put the yarn on the needle like this and you just knit the next. You put the yarn on the needle and you knit the next. This way you make holes in your knitting. So that's good to know. Then you know everything, <laughs> almost everything. Or maybe we should show how to cast off, bind off. Yeah, cast off, bind cast off, off, depending on what part of the world you're in. Yeah. But basically it means how to get your knitting off the needles. If you take the first one, slip the first one, you knit the next one, you lift the first one over, like that. Then you bind off one. So you knit the next one, you li lift the other one over, and you bind off two. So you knit one, lift the one you had on the other needle over, and let the other one go. So you knit, from right, left side, mm. lift from the right side over, and you had bind you bind off one more. So you just knit and lift. And now you have to be careful not to pull the yarn too much because then it will be really really bad. The bind off will be very tight and that's not nice so you have to be careful with the tension so that's it those are the basics <laughs> that's it <laughs> <laughs>